Hey YouTube, it's Andrew back again with another video and we recently unboxed this baby. It's the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 with Windows 10, the iPad mini retina competitor. Let's find out if it's a buy or a don't buy. The Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 with Windows 10 is an excellent tablet with great build quality and a gorgeous screen. It has a 7.9 inch IPS display with a resolution of 2048 by 1536. That's 324 PPI and a bright 340 nits. Excellent display, excellent job Xiaomi. As far as ports are concerned, there is only one port. It's a USB Type-C 2.0. Unfortunately, it's not the more current 3.0. You get your power button, your volume rocker up and down, and that's it for that side. On the top you have your microphone, headphone jack, and that's it. Along the other side, there is nothing, and on the bottom of the device, as we pointed out, is the single USB Type-C 2.0. On the front of the device, you have a 5 megapixel front-facing camera with decent quality. On the back is an 8 megapixel autofocus rear-facing camera. The Mi Pad 2 sports excellent speakers with excellent volume and excellent bass level, especially for a Chinese tablet. As far as buttons are concerned, there are three capacitive buttons. One in the middle is for the start menu. The bottom button is the Cortana button, and the top button is the back button. The Mi Pad 2 is 6.9 millimeters thin and weighs at 11.36 ounces, or 322 grams. As far as the Geekbench test, it did an 820 on the single core score and a 2266 on the multi-core score. As far as the Crystal Disc Marks test, it did a 137.6 on the read and a 64.44 on the write. It's running Windows 10 Home, 64-bit OS, and it has Mintel Atom X5 Z8500 processor running at 1.44 GHz. In order to test the audio quality of the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2, let's take a look and a listen at our latest video, the showdown between the Dell XPS 12 and the Lenovo Mix 700. It's showdown time here at AMD Tech. It's the Dell XPS 12 versus the Lenovo Mix 700. The sound on the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 is excellent. So overall, is the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 with Windows 10 a buy or a don't buy? I'm gonna have to say it's a definite buy, ladies and gentlemen. It has a beautiful retina display, iPad mini competitor at an affordable price. It comes in under $250 or around $250. And it also is available in a dual boot version where you can have both Android and Windows. I'm hoping to get my hands on one very soon in terms of testing as far as that is concerned. But getting back to this tablet, this is a beautiful display. It has some of the best build quality, if not the best build quality, of any tablet out of China that I've tested so far. It has the best screen that I've seen out of all those tablets that have come out of China. It has a beautiful laminated display, and it really does shine. It has excellent brightness, it's got beautiful viewing angles, and it really is much, it belies its own quality. In other words, it looks a lot better than what you're paying for. This is a real premium product, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm really shocked about this. I wasn't expecting much when I received this. Again, anything less than 200 or less than 300 or 350 dollars, I'm thinking, how good can this be, especially coming out of China? I've seen my share of less than stellar devices coming out of China. This does not disappoint, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as far as sound is concerned, this has the best sounding speakers I've heard out of Chinese tablets. It's got two back facing, back firing speakers, and they sound fantastic. Bass levels are good, volume level is excellent. As you heard from the test, it really is very good audio quality. As far as battery life is concerned, this thing is excellent. It gets anywhere from eight to 10 hours without a problem. And that's with it about 75 to 80% screen brightness. If I were to turn that down, I can tell you right now, you can get over 10 hours on this. Web browsing, Netflix, no problem. YouTube, no problem. 
even uh, 4K YouTube, no problem, as far as viewing is concerned. Document creation, it also is very good. You can use this with Word, Excel, not a problem. As far as performance is concerned, this didn't disappoint. It's using the Cherry Trail X5 processor. It's an Atom-based processor. It's running the X5 Z8500 variant, not the 8300 variant. So it's a little more stepped up. It's running at the 1.44 gigahertz level. As far as RAM is concerned, it only has two gigabytes of RAM, and that's an area where I think Xiaomi can improve. If they were to put four gigabytes in this baby, this would be much better. Although it did handle the tasks that I did throw at it pretty well. As you saw from the Crystal Disk Mark tests and the Geekbench tests, you saw that it did very well. But again, I think with a Core M, this thing would be a beast. Another thing I like about the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 with Windows 10 is the fact that you can use some of the accessories or cases that the iPad mini Retina uses as they're very, very close in dimensions. And as you saw when I used it with the Logitech Folio keyboard case, it is almost a perfect fit. Although it doesn't have the magnetic bottom of the iPad mini, there was some compromises. But for a Chinese tablet that you can get for about $250 running Windows 10, and you could actually put them in a case that has a keyboard case like the Logitech for the iPad mini, that's pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I like the fact that it is versatile in that way. So here's what I don't like about the Xiaomi Mi Pad 2 with Windows 10. First, I don't like that there's no micro SD card expansion. It only has this one port, that's it. It has the USB Type-C. Now speaking about the USB Type-C, it's the 2.0, not 3.0 variant. And I was having trouble connecting an HDMI cable to the USB Type-C on this device to drive the monitor. So that is something you need to keep in mind. This is the last second generation USB Type-C, not the latest generation 3.0 USB Type-C. But those negatives aside, this has got to be the best tablet out of China that I've already reviewed and unboxed. This really has a gorgeous retina screen, laminated screen display. This really is a very excellent buy. I love the fact that you can even use this with iPad mini accessories or some of them at least. So that is a real boon as well. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Please leave the comments in the comment section below. And until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. <laughs>